Canva just released a ton of new features in their recently concluded event, Canva Create 2023. It has a lot to do with artificial intelligence, and these 12 are the best ones that will be useful for most of you guys. I will show you how to use them. The first one is Magic Presentation. If I want to present a tutorial on a topic, for instance, how to start a YouTube channel and make money in 2023, I will click Enter, and Canva will do some magic, or not really magic, but combine the power of Hey Hi to give me a suitable design to present. As you can see, it rewrote the topic I gave it into a catchy headline, gave me the introduction page, and other steps from choosing the niche to monetizing the channel. You are also not limited to this design, as you can check out other templates on the left. It tries to give us different choices like this compact style. You can also go minimalistic or choose this one that takes most of the canvas. If you've already set up a brand, it will give you the same templates, but in your brand color and style. I'll proceed with this one. You can then go to each page and edit the content to fit your presentation which will take us to the next feature. And that is Canva Assistant. Canva Assistant has been here for a few weeks now, but they've improved it. You can access it by pressing the forward slash key on your keyboard or by clicking this sparkle icon at the bottom. This will show you graphics and photos that match your design and give you different tools such as Magic Write and others, which we'll look at later on in the video. But where it got smarter is this. If I select this photo, for instance, and bring on the assistant, I will be given options that fit a photo. This includes Magic Erasa and Edit, both of which are new features I'm excited about. And the old background removal tool is also here. Below that, you can easily choose related photos to the one you've selected or click on See All to see more pictures. I will drag one of these to replace it and scale it up to fit in the middle. To further illustrate this, if I select this graphic and bring on the assistant, I can easily change the colors and select related graphics as well. Also, if you click on See All, you will find more related graphics to choose from. One tiny update I also noticed is that if you click on a text, you can now choose a style from the dropdown that can quickly match your document font sizes like the subheading or body size. You now have ChatGPT on Canva with Magic Write. This also isn't entirely new, but it used to be restricted to Canva Doc. But now you can access it anywhere on Canva. To use it, open the Canva Assistant and choose Magic Write. You can ask it to write about anything like how to make money on YouTube. You can see that it talks about different ways to make money on YouTube, like affiliate marketing, partner program, and more. Where it gets more interesting is this. If I select a text box and click on the assistant, it recognizes that it is a text and gives me these different options. I can click on rewrite. That makes it longer, but I can also ask it to summarize it. And similar to other Hey Hi tools, the better the prompt, the better the result. If I ask it to write on this, it may not understand it, so I'll edit it to include YouTube. I can bring up the assistant once again and ask it to expand on it. So it gave us a listicle because it understood that this should be a step-by-step -step guide. From creating your account to optimizing your videos and promoting your channel, you can see how this can easily speed up your workflow. And to further improve your workflow, Canva is giving us another new feature. This is called Magic Design. And by now, we already have three magic. Let's see how many more magic we will get by the end of the video. What this will do for you is to give you different templates that best suit your content. Click on Insert Media and drag a photo here, or choose from the ones you've uploaded before. I'll choose this portrait of Elon Musk and wait for it to load. And this is amazing because I think it recognizes the personality of Elon Musk. 
as the first result is a YouTube thumbnail on how to be a great leader. Then there are other templates such as Instagram story, profile pictures, business card, flyer, and more. You can then click on any of the template to customize it to your liking. To confirm that it truly understands the photo, I will click on media again and choose one of these photos of Tesla. And then we have templates on car wash, promotional materials to drive or own a luxury car, and another one for an auto repair shop. There is another option to add a headline like this. And it will try to incorporate it into your design. Of course, it isn't perfect, but this can give you a first draft for your designs. The only downside to this is that all the templates can't be opened on a design space because Canva only works on one aspect ratio per file. So you need to go back to open each template on a new design. The next feature is one that I think took a very long time to arrive, but it is finally here. And that is the layer panel. If you click on position at the top, this will bring up the panel where you can click and drag any of the elements forward or backward. Before in this instance, we have to press control to select the element underneath and some goes away in the process. But now you can simply click on position and move it up. If you can't find it, you can click on overlapping to see the element underneath it, which is true for other elements on the page as well. Another new feature many users have been asking for is gradient. Now, if you click to apply a color, there is a new section below labeled gradients. You can select and try different ones. And if you want to customize it, click on the plus icon at the top. You'll find a new tab beside the solid color where you can add new colors to it. You can also choose different styles such as linear and circular at different angles, which are standard in all graphic design software like Photoshop. And I think this will be more useful for people who want to design flyers, YouTube thumbnails, and so on, especially when paired with the next feature. And that is the improved text to image. We've been using this for a while now, but the results are much better and accurate. You can find it at the app section on the left bar and type whatever you want to imagine. I can ask it to generate an airplane flying over an ocean. You can select different styles and also choose from three popular aspect ratios as opposed to only square it was restricted to before. So we have an airplane sailing like a ship on an ocean, then a close up of a plane and more. If you are not happy with the result, you can twist your prompt or simply click on create again. And we have better photos of the airplane. But the improvement doesn't stop here, as Canva now has better photo editing tools, which are the next magic features. They called it Magic Edit and Magic Eraser. Select any photo and click on Edit Photo at the top. You will find both tools here and let's start with magic edit. We can change this flower to something else. Firstly, you need to brush over where you want the effect to take place. Then click on continue on the left. I will type whatever I want to replace it with, for example, let's replace it with ice cream. Then click on generate. I can only say this is amazing because it not only tries to mimic the flower, but it fits the base of the ice cream on top of the glass as well. We can try the second tool, but to do that, I'll duplicate this photo. That's because for now, you can't apply both effects on a photo. So I will click on Magic Eraser. If I don't want this phone, I can brush on it and it will be erased. There is one more use case of this tool I would like to show you. I will duplicate this and click on Edit Photo one more time to apply the magic edit tool. Then I'll brush on this monitor screen. I will then ask it to fill it with a place such as Burj Khalifa in Dubai and watch it do the magic. So as you can see, this is also a cool feature. Another new feature is the animation. I want this headset to go from here to meet Musk. So I'll click on it and select animation. 
We have the old ones here, but with a new option to create your own custom animation. So I'll drag the headset the way I want it to move. You can also make it smooth or steady and change the speed as well. Click on Done. And you can play your animation. Finally, we have a pen tool on Canva with this new feature called Canva Draw. You can select a marker and draw basic shapes, circles, and stars all right on the screen. It was said during the Canva Create event that in the future, this will be able to change to a proper shape after we draw, so fingers crossed. You can also change the weight and the color on the left. And with the pointer tool, you can move each shape and scale it up or down. You have different markers to use, as well as the highlighter. And you can easily clean anything with the eraser tool. This feature is not restricted here alone. You can access it on the left bar on any of your designs. You can draw with it, highlight a text, or sign documents with it as well. This will be more useful to logo designers, although it's not as good as what you'll find on Affinity Designer or Illustrator, but it's getting closer. A new feature that was announced is called Translate. You can search for it on the app section to use it. I'll demonstrate it with the Arabic language and click on Translate. It's pretty accurate, and the best part of it is that it does not change the phone number, the email, and the website, which would have been a headache. And the language here is so much, as it is over 100. You can choose the page you want to translate and select different lingo including Hindi, Spanish, and many more. With this, you can talk to your fans and audience in their mother tongue. There are other updates you may want to check out like the Brand Hub, all of which you can unwrap on the homepage of Canva. Of course, you won't need all of these new features, but which one do you find most interesting? Drop your comment below and let's have a chat. Personally, I want Canva to update their video editor by adding a layer option for the B-roll but these are really nice features to have. There is also a new feature, which allows you to generate multiple designs from a spreadsheet. This is called Bulk Create. I showed you how to use it to create 30 Instagram posts in a click of a button. Click this video showing on your screen right now to watch it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you there.